Good afternoon and welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. This afternoon we're going to give you a nice video of another complete package deal that just came off the showroom floor. Folks, what you're about to video here is a 2000 Sterling Day Cab and a new 2011 Integrity custom built manufactured hopper trailer. Folks, what you're about to see here is our time-tested design workmanship that's been in operation for two generations. What we're going to do is start out with the truck. I'm going to go ahead and have him fire up the truck motor and we'll let you check out under the hood and hear it run. So let's walk up close. I'm going to pop the hood open and we'll let you hear this kitty cat purr. As you can see, the hood opens real nice and easy. Let's come on around, let's pull the dipstick out and let you have a look at the oil. Folks, take a look. You can see right through the oil onto the dipstick. Very nice and clean. Now, check out the blow-by, folks. Now, as you can see there in the video, there is absolutely no blow-by coming out of that exhaust, out of the engine crankcase whatsoever. With that, I'm going to have you go ahead and shut off the engine so that we can hear better in the video. So we're going to get the engine now that it's off. We can hear much better. Let's return our dipstick tube. And what I'm going to do is while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and start with the video right here on the driver's steer tire. Now, folks, we take pride in cleaning up our trucks, DOT inspecting them, and making sure you get a good run for your money and get the best bang for your buck out there. Take a look. Nice bridge tone steer tires, 70-80% tread. Take a look at these 60-70% brake shoes. Folks, I'm telling you, if you take a look around, you can see the truck has not been painted over. I haven't painted the motor. You're seeing this C12 cat right in its work clothes, and there is no evidence of oil leaks whatsoever. Very nice clean unit, respectable looking radiator fins with an AC system that blows ice cold. Folks, let's go around and let you see that from the passenger side. Okay, here we are. You can see the evidence of the matching Bridgestone tires, rims, everything matches very nice. Exact same tread. Come around. You can see the brake shoes are the same depth. And again, check out your oil pan. No, it's not been shampooed and steam cleaned. What you see is the way that it is. Very respectable overall. You got a little bit of corrosion around your shock towers just on the outer skin, but the shocks themselves are in excellent condition. Take a look in here under the turbo, folks. Very respectable again. Obviously, a fleet maintained truck. Here's your factory tag. 355 horse factory setting. This C12 cat is capable of 410 horse if you feel like you need the power, but I'm telling you, with 390 ratios, this sucker pulls. Now, I was telling you about the AC. Look at that water drip hanging right there. That's how cold that AC system. She is sweating. With that, I'm going to go ahead and lower the hood down so we can get you a nice video going around the truck. Let's go ahead and start right here on the front. We'll square off so you can see we have a nice hood set on the bumper. Everything lines up good. No glass damage. The fiberglass is in excellent condition. Folks, just take a look for yourself. It has not been painted. You're seeing it with factory paint. It buffed out very, very nice. Very clean and respectable looking. Even the fuel tanks, although they are steel, they're not showing a lot of corrosion. Very, very decent looking exhaust system. Just take a look for yourself. You can take a look up in there and you can see we have new flex pipe and stuff going on up to the front. I'm going to try to get the camera in here so you can see the evidence of that. Folks, with that, let's come on around the back let you see we have a nice air ride suspension for the cab and also air ride chassis on the truck. Just take a look at how nice and clean and respectable the frame is. These trucks came out of a fleet, folks. RT Express, very decent maintenance. You can see the back brake shoes here also are in that 60% range. Very, very nice. Take a look for yourself. Let's go ahead now and work our way on around the back of the truck. You can see we have nice matching drive tires in that 70-80% range of virgin rubber. Nice clean rear wheel packages. Just take a look. Let's look underneath. You can see we have the full light package, airbags, everything looking in excellent condition on the truck itself. Now folks, let's switch over and talk about the trailer a minute and then we'll work our way all the way around. Take a look starting here at the front, folks. What you're about to see here, again, I'll repeat, is our time-tested design custom-built hopper trailer with all solid welded construction, folks. Take a look at the standard ladder system in the front and back. 
Folks, we do not skip weld and use caulking. What you're seeing here is every panel is cut and fitted, inserted, and butted up and solid welded. There is no overlapping of steel inside or out. And another major thing, folks, is take a look underneath the trailer. All the competition, or most I should say, is going to have this wide open up above the tires. Look at this big floor panel we have in here, solid floor panel over the wheels. You have a removable trap door there to access above the fifth wheel plate. Just check that out. There is no environment going to get up inside the compartments and rust the trailer out. Look at the solid welded construction around the hoppers, folks. No skip weld, no caulking means long life for you. Two speed 50,000 pound landing gears. Very, we enjoy a 22 inch ground clearance on the hopper. Take a look, we have the easy remove tarp system. It is a crank lock roll tarp system and we will demonstrate that for you momentarily. Let's continue our way to the back. Take a look at the rear air ride suspension. Again, standing on 22.5 rubber. Virgin tires in that 70-80% range. And folks, look at the floor panel above the wheels here. Nothing is going to get up in here and kill it. Now let's come in here and you can see the evidence of a totally rebuilt suspension. All new valves, new airbags, new brake shoes, new chambers. It's all here, folks, at a very affordable price. New brake drums and all. Just take a look for yourself. Just take a look at how much effort we put into these trailers for you. ABS valve, everything is included. Here's a look at the back of the hopper with our easy open door system, which we'll demonstrate later. Look at the braces and stuff we put up under the slopes up underneath, folks. It is a time-tested design, and we're not willing to change because since 1982, we've never had a failure. Let's go ahead now and work our way around to the back of the trailer. He's going to go ahead and roll the tarp open. I'm going to get the camera focused on the top so that you can see how nice and smooth it works. Okay, go ahead and roll her all the way open. Now take a look. Very easy ground operation. Just check that out. Rolls all the way across. You can take it all the way over against the tarp stop and leave it hang open. You can run with it open or closed. It does not matter indefinitely. He's going to just let her hang down there for now. I'm going to go ahead at this point and climb up the back ladder and let you have a look at the tarp bows. Come along for the ride. Okay, as we come over the top rail, folks, I want you to take a minute to sight down these rails with me, and you can see they are perfectly straight. What I'm about to share with you here, folks, is another time-tested feature. Look at these tarp bows. They are not just a hoop that holds up the tarp. They are actually built like a truss. They play a major factor in the strength of the trailer. They're solid welded. They're not just hanging in there with cotter pins. They play a major role in the actual strength. Take a look at these steep 50-degree slopes. I'm telling you, folks, there's nothing staying in here. You put her in the top, open the door, and she's coming out the bottom. With that, let's head back down to ground level. Okay, now that we've safely landed again, let's go ahead and give you a nice look at the back ladder system. The vented tarp cap is standard option, and again, crank lock roll tarp. The way you see it is the way they all come standard equipment. Let's take a look at the suspension from the back. You can see the evidence again of all the new brake drums and everything on this suspension, including bags, hoses, chambers, and valves. With that, let's continue on up the driver's side of the trailer. And folks, I'm going to move on along here. It's an absolute repeat of what we've just witnessed coming down the other side. Here on this side, I want to point out the features of the paint bumpers. You can see the aluminum stops up there so that when the tarp comes over, it doesn't knock the paint off the ribs for you. Now, folks, let's come on down to the hopper, and here again, I'm going to let you see our sight glass feature. Walking right up, you can see right into the trailer from the outside with our side windows. Very nice feature. With that, let's go ahead and talk about the easy open hopper door. We have a latch system here. You just open that up, flip it over. Now, watch me crank this door, folks. One little pinky finger, and I can turn this door. One finger. That's how nice these doors work. You can take a look. You can see it coming open there. Very quick and easy to open and close. Again, folks, we've never changed the design of our double track rack and pinion door. The reason is, is if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. I'm telling you, we've used these same doors track system since 1982 and have many well-pleased customers with our hopper doors. Let's continue on around the trailer. Here's our high-low two-speed landing gear setup. 
I'm going to back off now and give you a nice overview of the side wall of the trailer. Again, folks, that brings us back up to where we started on the trailer. Let's flip back over to the truck at this point. I'm going to let you get a nice close-up view of the truck frame, the steps to get up on it, and the hoses, the upright exhaust system. Take a look at the back of the cab, folks. Very, very nice and clean. Just check it out for yourself. Here you can see the matching drive tires we spoke about earlier and check out the matching rims with the chrome package. Let's come on up along the driver's side now. Brings us back to the hood where we started. Just take a moment, focus on it, and again, you can see the evidence of what I was telling you earlier. You're going to go a long way to find this year a truck in better condition with the miles we've got. And folks, I can prove to you that it had fleet maintenance. Take a look now. No rust. It's all fiberglass. Where are you going to go to find it? The courtesy lamps all work. Check it out. Even underneath the cab, folks. Excellent overall condition. Even the seat area. The clutch pedal area is all very respectable. Let's come on up here. You got one real little pinky right here. Otherwise, the actual upholstery is perfect in this truck. Take a look at the headliner. Again, folks, you can see the evidence of the courtesy interior lamps working. Just check it out. Somebody has stayed on top of this truck. Now, let's come on in, get in the driver's seat area, and I want to have you take a moment and check how nice and clean the dash is. While we do that, I'm going to go ahead and fire up this engine and let you check out the oil pressure. Now, folks, as you can see, we're sitting here idling at about 600 RPMs, carrying 40 pounds of engine oil pressure. Let's bring a little throttle into it. Okay, with that we'll shut it off. As you can see, we have a very healthy engine. Take a look, you can see all the gauges are operational, fuel gauge working, and there's the mileage, 724,371 miles. We have AC controls, AM FM stereo, suspension dump valve, heated mirrors, and trailer handbrake, and we got the cruise control right here in the steering wheel, folks. With that, let's go ahead and exit the truck, and I'm going to wrap up this video by taking this time to tell you thank you so much for shopping Integrity Cells and Service. Please visit our website at www.99trucks.com. That's the two number nines and the word trucks, T-R-U-C-K-S dot com. Also feel free to give us a call at 260-238-5000. Ask for Jake or Dave. Folks, if you don't see exactly what you want here, don't go away. Give us a call. We'll custom build it for you. And we are competitively priced. Folks, if it's not the exact truck that you want, don't stop there. Give us a call. We have many, many more to choose from. Thanks again for shopping Integrity Cells, and we look forward to having the opportunity to add you to our happy customer list.